This is Apostle Praise. Welcome to I Am Global Channel, the land of the prayer warriors. Have you subscribed yet? If you have not, we are inviting you that you subscribe. And we have also learned that many people are visiting our channel and are not subscribing. If you are one of them, so we are asking you that you do the right thing and subscribe. And also like the content because you, you are blessed by the messages that are coming from this channel. And we also ask you that then you hit the bell so that um, when we upload new messages, you are the first to know. All right. So now, have you ever had a dream and in this dream, you find yourself that you are naked and you are naked in the presence of other people who are also naked and these are the strangers and you might identify maybe one or two people that you know but the rest are all strangers have you ever had a dream where you find yourself that you are drinking blood or made to drink blood or made to eat flesh raw flesh have you ever had a dream where you find yourself that you are flying and you are flying alone or with other people and people that you do not know and you are flying with those people? Have you ever had a dream where you find yourself that you are in a gathering of people who seem to be uh, in a meeting? And you don't even know what they are talking about. And, 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 and it doesn't happen once. You keep finding yourself in this gathering of these people who are discussing things that you do not know. But they are not rejecting you. It looks like it's people who are recognizing your presence. It's like you are one of them. Have, and if your response to any of those questions is in the affirmative, then you might be a blind witch or a blind wizard, all right? So one is going to be asking then, what is that? A blind witch is a person or a blind wizard is a person who has been initiated into witchcraft without your knowledge and without your permission. So it is possible then to be initiated into witchcraft whether or not you are born again, all right? So because in the spiritual realm, everything happens with a covenant, all right? It is through a covenant that you got born again. So that covenant can be superseded then by the covenant with the kingdom of darkness, and through witchcraft manipulations. Because when we go to bed, one thing that doesn't go to sleep is our spirit man. Our spirit man doesn't go to sleep. And if you went to bed with spirit man that is starving, and the spirit man that is starving, the spirit man that is not supported by the word of God, strengthened by the word of God, it is a spirit man that has been defiled, depends on what you have fed your spirit before you went to bed. And then you are making your spirit man then venerable to witchcraft, all right? So if you go to bed without having repented and asked the Lord to, to wash you clean with the blood, then you are going to bed with a sin that will become an open door for witchcraft to come and attack you. It's very important then that before we go to bed, we must repent as people of God because you do not know what is it that you did during the day that grieved the spirit of the living God. You do not know what you did during the day that entered into your mind, that entered into your heart, that is contrary to the word of God, all right? So I do know that nobody wakes up saying that I'm going to be sinning today, but it's Satan manipulates us throughout the day to make us then venerable to witchcraft, okay? So now, we are living uh, during a time where uh, many people are looking for God 
uh, from the wrong places. So that is why we have spiritists, we have mediums, we have necromancers, we have soothsayers, we have witches, we have wizards, we have sorcerers, we have diviners, all right? And, and the, the, the list is, it goes on, all right? So all those categories of those people are people who are looking for God from the wrong places, all right? These are the people who are worshipping other gods. As we know what God says in the book of Exodus. This is what God says in the book of Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. He said that thou shall have no other god before me. So we said the God who is so jealous, who doesn't want us to worship anything. All right? Worship anyone. So the moment you find yourself that you are worshipping what God created, you are already in witchcraft, all right? You are already in witchcraft when you worship what God created because God expects us to worship him and only him, the living God, all right? So Satan's assignment then through witchcraft is to move us then from worshipping the living God to worshipping what God created and also moving us then from obeying the word of God to obeying anything that is contrary to the word of God, all right? So now, let's get then to know as to who are these people because you might find yourself that you have a covenant with a, with, with, with one or, or more of the spirits that I have mentioned, all right? So we need to understand as to who they are, all right? Let me start then with the, with the medium. A medium, mediums are, are psychics who use demonic powers to tell the present and the future. And they get information from the ancestral spirits from the heavenlies, that is the stars, the moon, and so on. And they also get information from the archives of the enemy that are in the second heaven. Because Satan is not all-knowing like God. Satan is not all-present like God. So he uses his demons, spread his demons everywhere to gather information for him and he keeps that information, all right? So we need to know then that there are monitoring spirits everywhere that are gathering information. So when you go to some, to a fortune teller, that fortune teller then uses the demons that are gathering that information about you, getting information that is in the archives of, the, of, the, of Satan that are in the second heaven. So that is why it is important as a child of God that in your prayers you need to burn the archives release the powerful blood of Jesus Christ to erase all the information that Satan has about you all right so this is the prayer that you need to do frequently in your life all right so now let's get then to the next one the necromancers necromancers in South Africa are referred to as sangomas and they're practicing witchcraft they're in witchcraft and they're pretending as if they're coming to help you. Any person who is, who, is, who is coming to you and saying to you that he's coming to help you and using nothing else, if, if that person is not using the Holy Spirit, is using witchcraft. Because if he's not using the Holy Spirit, then he's using the unholy spirit. And the unholy spirits are the demons. All right? So you have then covenanted with witchcraft by going to a necromancer to consult with the Sangoma, as we call them in South Africa. So the necromancers use witchcraft and sorcery to conjure the spirits of the dead. All right, and reanimate the dead that is using the familiar spirit with the aim of foretelling uh, the future or to communicate the present. That's what they are doing. All right, they throw bones, 
all right? And the demons then that they are using, the spirits of the dead that they have conjured, all right, will be releasing information, that is the ancestral spirits will be releasing information about you because ancestral spirit are, are the carriers of information that is of your bloodline. And if you have not had any message about the ancestral spirit, it's here in this channel. Go and check it and learn about the ancestral spirit. That ancestral spirit have nothing to do with our people that we love, we have passed on. All right, these are the, are the demons of the bloodline that are parading as people that we love. All right, so they are the familiar spirits. Do you remember what happened in the book of First, First Samuel, um, chapter 28, when King Saul visited, visited the witch of Endor? And to conjure the spirit of prophet Samuel. The Lord he came back with a judgment against him. And that judgment is in the book of First Chronicles. First Chronicles chapter 10, verse 13 to 14, uh, where it is written that so Saul died for his trespass, which he committed against the Lord for his failure to keep the word of the Lord and also because he consulted a medium regarding a spirit of the dead to inquire of her and did not inquire of the Lord instead. Therefore, the Lord killed him and turned the kingdom over to David, the son of Jesse. So what it means is that there's a judgment, the judgment that the Lord passes against the one who consults the medium, the one who consults the necromancers. So as people of God, we should stay away from medium, stay away from necromancers, all right? So now let's get then who are the idolaters? The idolaters are persons who worship or have reverence or extreme love or adoration for something or a person. I have seen situations of pastors who will allow people to bow before them. And if you bow before your pastor, you are practicing idolatry, which is witchcraft. All right? You are practicing idolatry, which is part of witchcraft in the book of exodus chapter 20 verse 3 god said thou shall have no other gods before me so when you bow before men when you bow before an object you are practicing witchcraft it is called idolatry all right now let's move very quickly to the sorcerers Sorcerers, a sorcerer is, is any person who practices a witchcraft at a higher level than, than, than witches and wizards. So, so sorcerers are higher rank in witchcraft, all right? So we have also the soothsayers. The soothsayers use the evil powers then to foretell what, what is to come, all right? And the diviners then... Let me come to the diviners. The diviners is a wolf in a sheepskin, a diviner. Is that person who appeals to the unbelievers and also to the believers through deception. All right, the diviners. Diviners are the false teachers, the false prophets, and all that. Those who stand at the pulpit and pretend as being men of God, women of God, whereas they know that they are bowing before an idol. All right, they are they are drawing powers from the kingdom of darkness. So they are they are they are they are wolves in in sheepskin so we, we we need to be very careful about the diviners and now they are spreading they are covering the earth so as people of god we need to be to be extremely cautious of them particularly the the ones that are targeted by them are those who are shallow in the word and also shallow in prayer so we should stop making people our gods 
We should stop making people Jesus on earth, all right? And, and, and believing that for a prayer to be answered, it should be done by your pastor, all right? It starts there when you are dependent on men, all right? The Bible, God wants us not to trust in men, but to trust in him, all right? So listen to what the Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, from verse 3 to 5. It says that for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. That's what, that's what the Bible says. Don't be afraid of, of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry of God, the ministry God has given you. So now we've, we've, we have people now who want others to read the Bible for them. And when you do that, it's easy for you to be swayed. So we need them to, 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 to have that discipline of reading the word, all right? And ensure that you read the word every day, all right? And meditate on the word day and night. As the Bible says in the book of Joshua chapter 1, that we must meditate on this word day and night. We need to talk to the Lord, you know, it's prayer, you know, talking to, to your God. So if you, if you don't pray, then there is absolutely no communication that you have with your creator. So then if I don't communicate with my creator, then I must forget about receiving from him. All right, because my creator, who is my God and my father, cannot provide to one who does not acknowledge him. All right, so let's develop then that discipline of prayer and, and, and eating the word of God a daily. All right, and, and the Bible says that because right now there are so many of them, so many of them, and the Bible says that you shall know them by their fruits. That's what it is in the book of Matthew chapter 7 from verse 16 to 18. He says that you shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. All right? So we shall know them by their fruits. They might pretend and say that they follow Jesus Christ, but you will see them. We see them in hotels, you know, and partying with young girls. And they are calling themselves men of God. All right? They are deep in alcohol deep in, in, in pornography, in sexual immorality, and they are still calling themselves a man of God. So should you see that happening with your pastor, run. I'm saying to you, run. You must know that your pastor has an idol somewhere, all right? Might not be led by the Holy Spirit, okay? Now let's get then to... Let's get then to what is the Bible saying about all of this, about witchcraft? It says in the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 31, it says that do not tend to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out or, and so make yourselves unclean by them. I am the Lord your God. God says that we should not go to any of these spirits. All right, because he is God and he says that if we go to them, we are making ourselves unclean. All right, what will be unclean in particular is your spirit man. And mind you, we are spirit beings having a soul and living in the body. And what is the most powerful of all that 
in this three. It is your spirit man, all right? So when, when you go then to the mediums and the necromancers, you are making your spirit man to be defiled, all right? And the Holy Spirit then will move away because Holy Spirit cannot be found where there's filthiness, all right? So now, is it possible to love Jesus and be a blind witch through evil initiation, all right? The answer to that is yes. Now, I would like this for us now to deal with the ways in which evil initiation to witchcraft is done. All right. So I'm going to be giving you 10 ways in which you can be uh, initiated into, into witchcraft without you knowing. All right. 10 ways in which you could be initiated into witchcraft without you knowing all right initiated to become the blind witch or the blind wizard first it is by evil dedications is when in your bloodline somebody who is a strong man in your bloodline goes to an altar and mentions your name and mentions other members of the family and and dedicate them to witchcraft all right so if you don't cancel that dedication then it will follow you for the rest of your life all right even when you are born again because you there was there's a covenant that has been made on your behalf all right because covenants can be made on our behalf but it cannot be broken on my behalf i am the one who takes the responsibility of breaking the covenant all right so for you to say that no 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 i was not there when that covenant was made all right but you have inherited it okay you have inherited that covenant so secondly you can be initiated into into blind witchcraft all right through evil feeding is when you find yourself in a dream and you are eating eating things that you do not know all right and it might be because the evil feeding it occurs through evil manipulations where you find yourself that you are eating because the enemy knows in the archives everything that you love all right so then will pretend it will be brought to you as if it is that thing that you love it is it is that pie that you love but it's not a pie it might be human flesh all right it is that juice that you love but it might not be that juice but it but but human blood all right so you can be initiated through evil feeding so that's why it is very important that you don't take evil feeding for granted all right so when you have experienced it you need to do prayers self-deliverance you know to set yourself free from evil feeding all right then um, you can be initiated into into witchcraft through evil marriage all right so that evil marriage it comes by sex in a dream it comes by having somebody kissing you in a dream that's already an evil marriage by kissing or have somebody who, or have somebody who is having a handshake with you in a dream that is also a covenant that is already done and when you find yourself that you are walking in water or you are bathing or you are swimming in water all of that then it is it is initiation into 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 witchcraft a sex in the dream it is evil marriage all right so when you find yourself walking in water when you find yourself bathing or swimming in water that could also be an initiation into witchcraft all right and also then when you find yourself then 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 you are signing papers signing papers in the dream um that you you might be signing those papers so as to become a member of a secret society all right and that a see a member any secret society is witchcraft all right if it's illuminati or whatsoever but it is witchcraft so when you are signing those papers you might be initiated into blind 
witchcraft all right fellowshipping where you find yourself that um you can be initiated into blind witchcraft uh, by fellowshipping in an occult church all right where then the pastor is a diviner by you worshiping there you have entered into witchcraft all right because you are you are you are worshiping the god of that pastor all right you are worshiping the God of that pastor. So that is why they will say to you that um, you need to shout the God of so-and-so. When you are saying that the God of so-and-so, you are mentioning that idol that is keeping in his secret place. All right. So you are into witchcraft yourself. You have already been initiated you have, because you have covenanted with him. All right. So also evil evil incisions that are usually made by by necromancers also can lead then to you being initiated into blind witchcraft and then also participating um, in any activities of the new age uh, movement that is visiting psychics and um, and also um, uh, practicing yoga or being hooked into horoscopes every morning you are reading horoscopes so that can lead then to you opening the door for you to be to be initiated into witchcraft because all the practices of new age are linked to witchcraft palm reading tea leaf reading tarot card reading reading uh, even when you are reading or watching anything that is evil material that could also be leading to initiation and also even the games you see some of the games that our children are, are, are playing on our cell phones and even yourself some of those games have been have been initiated are, are, are releasing the spirits spirits for initiation into witchcraft all right so now these are the 10 ways in which you could find yourself initiated into witchcraft now in the next message part two of this message we will be learning then as to how i can then be set free from blind witchcraft all right because it is possible for you to be set free so in the next message we'll be dealing then with how you can do the self-deliverance so that you are set free from blind witchcraft so do not forget to subscribe do not forget to punch the bell so that um, uh, when we upload new messages you are the first to, to learn and secondly do not forget to share this message and also to like it all right see you in part two this is apostle praise signing off.